tonight. Which lucky geeks will be given the transformation of their lives? <laughs> and surprise dates. You and I are going to get on really well. Leave the geeks with a tough decision to make. You can exchange your beauty for your geeky date. Everything that we've been through, you're going to turn around and trade me for someone you've known for half an hour. To the challenge room, I saw a stand with a pink cloth covering it, and I thought it could be anything. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Hi, Bernie. So, beauties, you may be used to your photos gracing social pages and magazines. Well, there is a lot of models in the house. <laughs> While geeks striking a pose might not come quite so naturally. I avoid having my photo taken at all costs. I have been told that um, I generally look like a robot. This week sees you both in front of a camera as you'll have to work together in a couple's photography challenge. <laughs> I'd prefer, like, you know, gay challenge, beauty challenge over, like, joint, because we never really go that well in joint. <laughs> we just fight. I don't even know what you're talking about right now. Perhaps you should listen. I am. The winning team will see their photo on the cover of... <laughs> Famous Magazine. Oh, my gosh, I've always loved Famous Magazine. I buy it every single week, and so to be on the cover would just be the most amazing thing. The only time I've had a photo published was when I was advertising the school Gifted and Talented Club. Here to take your photos and judge your final shots, Elisa Stern, fashion director from Famous Magazine, and award-winning photographer, Toby Burrows. So most importantly, what I'll be looking for are the three Cs. Confidence, chemistry between your partner, and a really strong connection. Looking forward to working with you guys. It's gonna be a good day. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you should be good at this. I think the most experience Lockie's had in front of a camera is probably school photographs. He's done a lot of money. <laughs> we received our costumes, and it looks like we'll be dressing up as Adam and Eve. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, my this is... God. Oh, we've done well on the uh, costume, I think. I was a little bit self-conscious. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Lachlan? Yep, to meet you, Toby. Toby, nice to meet you. You cold? Just a little bit. He just had leaves. That was all. <laughs> really nice, gorgeous. OK, I think the apples are great, but I really feel that something else is needed in this shot. Let's have a little look here. No. Have a little look-see. I know that one of Sarah's biggest fears is snakes. <laughs> Sarah, you good with you OK with snakes? <laughs> I could sense panic in Sarah. Okay, you need to gently just put it over your shoulder. OK? When I saw the snake, I didn't know whether I was going to vomit before I got the chance to run. I hate snakes. Here, just see, how, see what I'm doing here? You're doing beautifully. There we go. Okay. It's actually quite smooth. It's nice. I tried to speak firmly but kindly to Sarah and just be as supportive as I could. Look what it's doing to me, and I'm fine. I noticed that the snake's head was down near my foliage at one point, and I was just hoping that this snake had eaten recently. Here we go. That's beautiful. Just there. So I finally let the snake on me, and I was biting my teeth together so hard. I don't know how that was going to help, but I just let her grow my tooth together. <laughs> Lachlan, and over <laughs> here. Looking over to out off camera. Lachlan, looking up here. Oh, my God, it's just... <laughs> a pose, a classic pose. Just as you are, guys. Well, that's the shot. That's the shot. OK, we're good. <sighs> did it. Well done. Well done. Well done. You did that. I am immensely proud of her. <laughs> I didn't believe that I did it, really. I think that's why I was so upset. Like, I did it, and I, I just didn't believe it. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, guys. 
Troy. Hi, mate. Good to meet you, mate. Nice to I'm a bit scared of cameras, but Troy is definitely not. So I'll just fake it and he'll do it for real. OK, you're going to love the, the barramundi as much as you love oh, Helen. OK, here that. we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a Troy-sized fish. It looks like John West. OK. Beautiful, OK, really, OK, channel your favourite movie, come on. The theme that Troy and I were given for today's challenge appeared to be a cross of Fisherman and the Titanic. I loved it. it was, <laughs> I love getting wet in boats. The photo shoot involved me getting into some little orange shorts and Oiling myself up. Oh, Gilbert. Hello. Hey, mate. It's nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Look, very, very, very easy to idolise as Gilbert. So what we're, what we're going to do, we're going to sort of get him in there as the kind of ginger god. I am Gilbert and I am the ginger god. A little bit of attitude here, guys. Come on. OK, here's your man, Maddie. That's right. Let's get a couple Gilly of was really annoying me. I had to, like, you know, look up at him and be in awe of him. And, and, and just come in a little tighter. Which kind of made me feel a bit sick. <laughs> a little jump, two, three, and go. Nice work. OK, we're done. Our theme was mid-50s bikini car wash. There was mention of some other shorts. Do you have smaller shorts? Yes, I do. OK, let's go. Let's see him. Let's see him okay. right now? Let's do it. OK, OK. That's more in keeping. I couldn't look. <laughs> I was like, OK. <laughs> Here we go. Two, three, go, 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 go. Hey! Excellent. OK, we're good. <laughs> Jordan. And Julian. So I was dressed up as Cupid, whereas uh, we had Jordan as a, sort of a devil who was shooting me with Cupid's bow. Let's see how you go with that bow. One, two, three. Beautiful work. I actually grew up on a trampoline, so um, trampoline's my thing. Beautiful work. Here we go again. I found striking the right pose on the trampoline a, a bit difficult, but my performance was uh, extremely physical and robust. Beautiful. And uh, still quite graceful. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> You're the servant, Jimmy, and of course, Cleopatra. I think Mackenzie and I have a more cooperative relationship than, say, a slave and master relationship, but there, there are similarities. I'd be lying if I said there wasn't. Guys, straight up, here we go. Really elegant. Around here, Jimmy, chin down a little, chin down a little. I've never had someone feed me grapes before. <laughs> I could get used to it. I'm going to get you throwing the goblet. Here we go. I don't think it's a symbol of the slave becoming king so much as I think it's the slave obeying orders, you know. Oh, that wine is terrible. Remove it from here. Beautiful. Still to come. Our top two teams will be rewarded with a makeover. Two lucky geeks are about to be transformed. And how will the mansion react <laughs> to geeky new arrivals? Oh, yeah. It came time for Bernard to announce the winner of the photo challenge. I haven't had my photograph published since I was the face of the Attorney General's Department traineeship program. Uh, I believe they had a drop in application numbers that year. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Bernie. Bernie. Well, as you know, Lisa and Toby were here to judge your performances. Guys, how do you think they went today? I think overall you guys did a really, really good job. Yeah, I think everybody did very well. well what do you reckon? Do you want to see the shots? Yeah. 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 I'm so excited to see the photos. Not, not just mine, everyone's photos. First up, Helen and Troy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is hilarious. Just to see myself dominating that little four-foot wooden boat and Helen grasping around my legs with fish, I loved it. It was unreal. I thought Troy looked smoking. <laughs> you guys had a really, really lovely bond, and you can see that through the image. Definitely love the water on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly and Bendigus. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Shiza. Oh, that's incredible. Bendigus' shorts are classic. <laughs> if that's what looks good, if that's what the people want, let them have it. 
Sarah and Lachlan. <laughs> that is horrifying. Wow, my legs are so white. I might cause a few people to go blind. Uh, Sarah, do you think it's a good result considering the trial you were under? You can see the fear written all over my face. <laughs> The only satisfaction I felt was that I didn't give up on Lockie. Sarah was my hero today. <laughs> um, she was extremely courageous to be in that position. She has conquered one of our biggest fears and it's a huge achievement. I think this will hopefully lead to some growth in Sarah. Introducing Mackenzie and Jimmy. That's cool. Very godlike to oh, me. Wow. I'm going to make that picture my Facebook profile picture. I, I really thought it was a great photo. Jordan and Julian. Oh, 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 that's awesome. That is, that is, that is oh, my God, guys. I think I looked appropriately hurt and pained, which I think was the goal. We saw that shot and uh, it said everything. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> Good job. Jordan's perfect. Aww. Aww. So you, Jules. Maddie and Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> you are so pale. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so random. <laughs> my face was heaps better than I thought it would be, but Gilly's face was just blank. It was just nothing. And I was like, oh my god. I think that you guys have a bit of a disconnect in the image, which is a little bit of a shame because it's about being playful and fun. The connection is not there, the chemistry isn't there, and you can really see that. I felt the same thing. It was, it, we didn't seem to be able to get the two, two chemistry. The chemistry together. I was upset because the comments that the judges had made very well summed up the relationship between Maddie and I. Once again, congratulations. I think all of your shots are cover worthy. Toby, who are our top two teams today? Sarah and Lachlan. And Helen and Troy. <laughs> I'll look to Helen, Helen just a big smile on her face. And the winner of the photography challenge is Sarah and Lachlan. I just looked at Lachlan. Is it really happening? Guys, congratulations. To know that I had faced my biggest fear in the world and something that I never thought I'd ever do, for it to be captured in a photo and then be put in a magazine, like, that's really unreal. I have another special surprise for you. <laughs> for coming first and second in the photography challenge, both Lachlan and Helen will be rewarded. with a makeover. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I was literally speechless. Coming up. You can't say it's just me. I'm not saying that it's just you. I'm saying that it's a combination of us. Is this team heading towards a breakup? I won't talk about it anymore. I'm over it. And stand by for Helen and Lachlan's new look. That's it. Hey, Maddie. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. Look, I figured that we should talk, because after that photography challenge, you probably noticed I got a bit upset. The connection is not there. The chemistry isn't there. And you can really see that. I don't know. What, what upset me was that the judges' comments seemed to be very accurate. When they say, um, 
chemistry, as in like, mm. I'm supposed to like, love you. You're not meant to love me, but you're meant to sort of talk to me and get to know me. I know me and Gilly aren't getting along as good as some of the other couples because our personalities are really different. I know heaps about you. And you know heaps about me. What particularly upset me was that I'd committed myself to cooperating with Maddie and just to being, you know, a supportive partner. If anyone's gonna look at that picture and whinge that it's, it's blank or there's no chemistry, your face is absolutely blank in that photo. Was, you can't say it's just me. I'm not saying that it's just you. I'm saying that it's a combination of us and that we need to work to try and redeem it, to develop it. I feel like I'm putting in a lot of effort and he doesn't see that. Like, he's just like, oh, no, you're not trying. We'll talk about it later. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm over it. Fair enough. Hey, what's going on? Not much. The time's come that I'm going to tell Mackenzie how I really feel about it. Something I really want to get out. So I've been thinking about the last few days of you. Mm. I think it's just time to be honest. We've just enjoyed this whole time together. And you mean a lot to me. Troy's just, he's just an absolutely amazing person. He is kind and I've never had it before, but he's extremely romantic and his personality is just like a puzzle. Like it fits my puzzle. It's perfect. I just wanted to say, I want you to be my girl. And um, I definitely want to carry this on after we leave the mansion. So you want me to be your girlfriend? Yeah. I definitely want to be your girlfriend. We've not really spent a lot of time together, so it may look a little bit sudden, but I think when you know, you know. I can't believe we're boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Lachlan, I'm Henry Roth. Nice to meet you. Welcome to your new life. <laughs> Thank you. Today, fashion guru Henry Roth is here to give me a makeover, so it should be interesting times ahead. Do you want a new life? Uh, I definitely am here to change and I'm on my way. We, my friend, are going to turn you into a bit of a stud. <laughs> I could do with a few tweaks here and there to my appearance. Just a little bit of zhuzhing would be fantastic. Hi. Hi. Hello. Surprise. Oh, there's more than one of you. Me, Dolly and Sarah, we decided to go and have a little, you know, girl on girl talk with Helen. And... Are you pumped about makeover? <laughs> I'm a bundle of nerves at this stage. I've got a makeover coming up very soon. Yeah, I, I thought blonde not, I straight away. Nice. Can't wait for or if not blonde, just like a really light, lighter sort of I was fresh. Hoping. They, they, could, they could even go darker and tint her eyebrows. The girls are talking about things like spray tans and hair extensions and eyelash extensions. What, what is an eyelash extension? How does it even happen? Have you seen individual eyelashes before? Like, you know how there's like... Helen needs this makeover. She's just... I don't know, she's not exuding confidence that much. What happens when you have a spray tank? Can first somebody thing, tell me? First thing happens, you get yourself this really, really beautiful disposable cheese string. <laughs> <laughs> and they spray paint on you, brown paint. And then you can't see I hope that Jordan is happy with the result of my makeover. But I'm a little worried about getting a spray tan. <laughs> awesome. If the covering on my front was offensive, there was even less on my behind. That's it. Hello, Helen. Welcome to your makeover. Thanks. Are you kind of excited? Yes. We want to get the best bits of Helen and we want to amplify it so that it's the best that you can possibly be. I've had enough of disappearing into the crowd. I'm ready for a makeover. Helen, this is Joey Scandizo, twice Australian Hairdresser of the Year. 
Whilst Helen and Lachlan were getting made over, the rest of us were just hanging out talking about how they're going to look. I'd like to see a suit. Hmm. I'd like to see Ooh. Helen in a suit, actually. Yeah. I'd like Stop to see it. Helen Why? in some stilettos. Okay. I'm really hoping that they, they go with, like, a mohawk or something for Lachlan. Not too short, but, like, that sexy surf hair. I have no idea how to use half of the stuff you've got laid out on the bench. Oh, I can give you some tips as we go along. That would be awesome. And this is a, a lightweight foundation. I find that using multiple light layers is better than one big heavy layer. This gives you a much more natural result. I prefer the natural look. I like to be comfortable and I prize comfort over looking good. What the hell? That is <laughs> awesome. Over to our own little icon. We were really looking forward to seeing what Helen and Lachlan look like. We were really hoping that the end results were fantastic. Beauties and geeks, prepare to be completely amazed. I was just, my heart was pounding. My hands were sweating. I was doing Lachlan's all, like, nervous thing. I'm so excited for Lachlan. I really hope that it's the look that he likes and that will help him. Like, it'll change his life forever. Will he still like me? I don't know. What if he's too hot for me? One of my biggest insecurities is my self-esteem and my self-confidence. My physical appearance has definitely held me back and I think the makeover will help me create change and just start to feel a little bit better about myself. Introducing the new and improved Lachlan. Comparatively to the first day, I'm feeling a hundred times better. I feel like a million bucks, ten foot tall and bulletproof. This is my moment to shine. Introducing the new and improved Lachlan. I really do recognise him. He's really good looking. <laughs> I just, I couldn't believe that. I think I was more in shock. I don't even think I blinked. He looked so good. His eyebrows are like more perfect than mine. He had even a better tan. Just head to toe hot. Lockie's tan looked unreal. He was glowing. I was jealous. I was, where'd my tan go? <laughs> It was a little bit overwhelming. I've never had such an extreme reaction to my entering a room. Uh, it's probably something I could get used to. Who's the rose for? Uh, the rose is for Jordan. <laughs> He's beautiful. He looks so good, so handsome. It was before, but yeah, you look so great. You look amazing. Thanks. One down, one to go. Troy, <laughs> yeah. it's now time for your geek. How are you feeling? Um, really nervous, uh, a bit emotional. I just can't wait. <laughs> well, she's a statistician, but the only number she'll be giving out after this is her phone number. <laughs> When I came into the mansion, I had never been at all self-confident. I have massive problems with body image in particular. I just want to look more confident and self-assured. The makeover for me is as much a psychological makeover as it is an appearance makeover. I am excited and nervous and anxious and scared all at the same time. She's gone from female geek to super chic. Please, give it up for Helen. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh. No! Oh. Oh. oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. What? Helen. 
look like a hot business chick. Oh my god. I was more than proud of Helen. I just felt everything for her. Come here. <laughs> you look, um. Thank you. My heart's going a thousand miles an hour. You look unreal. You, um. As you've just shown, you've come a long way. <laughs> Sorry, come here. This makeover has given me a new lease of self-confidence. This feels fantastic. I can see it in your face already. You're just, you're happy with yourself. I got very emotional. Just, uh, I was so proud of her, impressed. She just pulled off the whole look great. And uh, she's just a wonderful girl. You just, you just show it all right now. Sorry. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Have you had a look in the mirror? I did. I had to look quite a few times. Didn't really believe it was me. I thought at first somebody had actually stuck a picture there. <laughs> do a twirl, do us a twirl. The, the back's pretty much the same as the front. <laughs> <laughs> Helen's confidence has gone through the roof. 100%, like she, you could tell, as soon as you seen her, she was, she was smiling and she was working it. I feel more comfortable in these clothes. I feel empowered in these clothes and I'm pretty sure I could take on the world at this point in time. I think there are definitely uh, six female beauties in the house now. It was amazing to see one Helen go away and then this brand new Helen come back and it was, it was beautiful. It was a wonderful thing. All right, I have another surprise. <laughs> While Lachlan and Helen have been made over, we thought all the geeks deserved a little treat. Tonight, geeks, you will all be going on a date. <laughs> I could count the number of first dates that I've been on on one hand. In fact, I could do it on two fingers. With? Geeks. <laughs> the five female geeks and the one male geek. Oh, they looked like us. It was fantastic. And beauties, you will be their waitresses. I couldn't think of a worse job, to be honest. And the thought of having to wait up for Julianne and at the same time watching Lachlan on a date just killed my life. I've never been on a romantic date before. I'd assume a romantic date entails primarily a sort of positive shared experience where you learn about a potential romantic partner. I've got a bit of a step in my stride. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Our geeks and their partners for the night were sitting at six beautifully set tables. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Hi, I'm Alana. Nice to meet you, Alana. You too. We started waitressing for them, getting them drinks and serving them food and just making sure they were having a good night. Hello, Jimmy, darling. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I gave Jimmy a little kiss on the cheek so she knew that I was his. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Do you read comics or, or anything like that? I've just started getting into Marvel and I really like Joan and Vasquez. Joan and Vasquez is one of my favourite authors. They look like they're getting along. <laughs> Most of what I do is just for fun. <laughs> look at him laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are going to get on really well. Excellent. <laughs> Alana was very close to what I would call my ideal partner. When I sat down with Nadia, I was going like, yes, this is the one I wanted. What makes you a geek? What kind of geek are you? You know, reading all the time, singing in choirs, doing debating, collecting weird things like buttons. Oh, and buttons, you yes, really, buttons. really good button store in the rocks. Have you been there? No, I haven't, because that was, I was quite young thank at the you. time. And I think that's some chicken. Oh, thank you. Quite interesting when Jordan was waiting on us because she seemed to be alternating between extremely polite and proper and uh, slightly protective and annoying. Be good, Julian. I can't believe you put up with that. I put up with anything, pretty much. It's great. <laughs>
No, you enjoying your night? Thank you. That's the way, guys. That's the way. What a nice guy. Sweetheart. I think Helen could drag any man back into a lair with her new looks. <laughs> and um, Simon was a good test for it. I love your hair. Have you changed it recently? Or? I actually had it done today. Really? I think this new look is going to make me miles more confident with the opposite sex. I've done too much hiding in my life. I think that time's over. And the dress? I love the colour. Thank you. Dina, she was quite a lovely young lady. I was very much enjoying my time, I will admit. Do you dance? Oh, if you'd kindly step up. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> so I believe I would step forward. Yes. Back, and then we cha-cha-cha to the side <laughs> and then forward. Benedict's date was really cute. I think she was pretty much his dream girl. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you identify more with, um, the conservative or liberal ideology of the Liberal Party. Liberal. Excellent. You're my type of girl. Oh. Jordan, do you hear that? Mm. That's what happened. My type of girl. You just said. Sitting there with Brianna, I could feel eyes sort of searing into the back of my skull, and I was pretty certain that they were Jordan's. Maybe I was jealous. I don't know. When we return, what will happen when the geeks discover their date? You can exchange your beauty. Could become their mate. My heart sunk. I felt sick. You're going to turn around and trade me for someone you've known for half an hour. Are you cold at all? Do you want a jacket? It's freezing, actually. Yeah. That'd be really... Thank you. No worries. <laughs> what a gentleman. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. There you are. <laughs> wow, so special. I found it very refreshing to talk to Amy. She's an interesting person and it was a nice change of pace. Well, will your beauty get jealous that I'm wearing a jacket now? Nah, she'll be fine with really? it. Really? Yeah. Is there any love interest there? There might be a little bit of one. Oh, really? Mm. With your beauty? No, not with my beauty, with someone else's beauty. <gasps> with someone else's beauty? I know, it's... <laughs> Hopefully things might change. Yeah. Maybe. Gilly's date was going far too well and she was way too cute. Well, I really enjoyed the time that I spent with Amy. If I saw her in the real world, I think that she'd definitely be someone who I could hang out with as a friend. Standing on the stairs in front of Bernard and our dates, we were wondering what was going to happen. I was hoping that it wasn't something too dramatic, but in this house, you never know. Well, geeks, I hope you all enjoyed your evening. The question is, how much did you really enjoy it? At this point, you all have a very important decision to make, a decision that could change everything forever. My heart sunk to my feet. I felt sick. You can continue your journey in the Beauty and the Geek Mansion with your beauty, or you can exchange your beauty for your geeky date. I have never been so angry in my life. The idea of being traded for someone. This will mean that your beauty will be eliminated from the competition effective immediately. I just never, ever, ever expected a twist like that. Like, that was gut-wrenching. I see Jimmy looking at the ground and I knew he was thinking about swapping Mackenzie for a geek. Me and Mackenzie are very close. Of course, I worried. I just thought, how could any guy even like, have two, two thoughts about that? I'll give you a bit of time to make what could be one of the biggest decisions of your lives. that we've had our differences. Yeah. But it hasn't always been smooth. That's true. Because you know that I had 
a good time with Amy, and this decision isn't an easy one to make. Hopefully things might change. Maybe. Amy is very positive, and she doesn't complain much. Maddie usually finds the negative things in what's going on around her, and she's very vocal about it. If you feel you can get further in this competition and you can benefit more from Amy, then that's what I want you to do. Thank you, man. That's very noble of you. I was actually very impressed with how Maddie dealt with the conversation. At the end of it, I thought that she'd acted in quite a, quite a proud manner. Mm, I've got a lot to think about. Hey. Hello. So? Do you want to be here? Why would you ask me that question when you already know that I want to be here? Uh, because I need to hear it, because that's... Yes, I do want to be here, Jimmy, okay. and I cannot believe you're even asking me. I'm actually really offended. Anything another human being has put me through does not compare to what he is doing to me right now. I would rather have been cheated on than to be rejected. You're like a sister to me. Mm -hmm. You you really are. And I'm I'm only considering it. You know, I, I'm just I had a good time. You and I are gonna get on really well. Excellent. <laughs> Everything that we've been through, you're going to turn around and trade me for someone you've known for half an hour. This is the first experience I've had in, in the house where I've been able to have a conversation about stuff you, you have absolutely no interest in. And that's why you're goddamn here. Because I don't have any interest in that. I didn't realise that you wanted me to be like that. I didn't realise that you wanted a partner that understood that stuff. I don't know anything about it, so sit me down and talk to me about it. Mackenzie, I think, is used to dealing with situations with volume rather than with tact and, and logic. And that really wasn't helping the situation as it was. It's hard sometimes not to feel alone. Well, you should come to me and tell me that you feel alone. That's the first time I've even heard you tell me that you feel alone. You've never told me. You haven't been around a lot. OK, well, I'm sorry. I'll tell you what I've been thinking about. I'm... You can't even look at me. It, it wasn't a fun decision to make. For once in my life, I wasn't thinking about anyone but myself. You and I are gonna be in contact forever. No, we're not. I was just thinking about how happy I would be to have someone in the house like Alana. When I was walking down the stairs, I was trying to justify to myself that I had made the right decision. There was uh, a lot of tension in the room. Mackenzie was still really upset, and so was Maddie, and I uh, was just waiting for the announcement. Geeks, it's time for your decision. Now, I hope you've all thought through this carefully, as it will greatly affect your destiny in Beauty and the Geek. I was just so nervous, and you couldn't pick who it was going to be. You just, you never knew who was going to get swapped. Helen, do you choose Simon, or are you going to stay with Troy? I had a fabulous time with you tonight, Simon. It was a fantastic date. However, Troy is my man in this house. We're a team. And I wouldn't change him for the world. Lachlan, you dated Brianna. Will you be choosing her or moving forward with your beauty, Sarah? 
Bernard, I had a fantastic time uh, with Brianna. However, I'm sticking with Sarah and I think we're going to go from strength to strength. If I swapped Sarah out, Jordan would kill me. I'm a geek, not a fool. Thank you. Julian, do you prefer your date, Nadia, or will you hang on to your beauty, Jordan? So I had a, a lovely and educational date with you, Nadia, but uh, I already have a really close relationship with, with Jordan, who is also awesome, so I wouldn't be able to change. You know, you were happy for two seconds, and then you dropped again, because you realised this means you're sweet, but someone else isn't. Bendigus, do you choose your date, Dina, or will you move forward in this competition with your beauty, Dolly? I had a splendid time with you, Dina. This is it. I'm going home tonight. But I am always loyal. And so I must say with regret, goodbye. Good choice. Gilbert, will you choose to move forward with your date, Amy, or will you be hanging on to Maddie? If Maddie and I can't respond to each other as a partner should, then I don't think that we've got much hope of willing, winning challenges. When I arrived at this house, Bernard, I was quite aware of what I was getting myself into. And that's not to say that there haven't been hiccups along the way, because there certainly have. But I hope Maddie and I will be able to reforge a stronger bond than we have been able to previously. Thanks, Kelly. Maddie, how are you feeling about that decision? I was really worried, actually, but I'm, obviously I'm glad that he chose me and I'm happy to still be here. Um, and I think we'll probably just get stronger from, from here in. And finally, Jimmy. Will you be choosing your date, Alana, or will you stay with your beauty, Mackenzie? This was one of the hardest decisions I've, I, I've ever had to make. And I, I had a really nice time with you tonight. But you don't throw away family for nice. Mackenzie's my partner through thick and thin. And even the thought of leaving, leaving her made me very upset. But I'm sticking with Mackenzie. It's obviously gonna be a, a test for the both of us if we can move on from this, but I'm still mad. Well, today has been quite the roller coaster ride, has it not? And this is the point at which we disembark. There will be no elimination tonight. You're all safe and through to next week. It was so much relief when Bert announced there was non-elimination this week. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you all next week. Thanks, Bert. Thanks, Bernard. Bernard.